To be able to capture a region from a player is obviously a nice function. But in reality, one will quite often want to capture multiple regions, and not just one. Of course, I can do this manually. But I'd like to show now how I can define multiple regions for recording. I'll change over to my player and let it run. Now, I'll define my in point and pretty soon my out point. Now I'd like to mark this region and remember it in a list somehow. To do this, we have the add to batch capture list function here, which can also be called up via control B. I'll click it, and now I'll click in again. It turns red now as the in point is actually after the out point. I'll click out here and then add to batch capture list. The next section from here until here and again add to batch capture list. For the minute I'll stop. After having defined these regions I would like to see the list in which they appear. And this is also hidden in the extended section here to the right beside the batch list. I'll click on it, and in the context menu is the batch capture function, which can also be called up via the F10 key. When I select it, this batch capture window opens, and I can see the three regions I specified earlier. I can also see that in the first column, the name of my tape can be seen. So we can see that it is useful to give the tape a clear and concise name. Also, I can see the in and out points for each of the specified regions, as well as the lengths, and as a new addition, I can also specify what form the later recording should take. Do I want to record video and audio, or just video? I can specify this in advance here. Of course, I can also specify just for audio to be recorded. Further to this, we can also see a column for file name. Here, I can in advance give each clip a name that will be assigned when it has been recorded. If, for example, I click on the second one, I can give this clip the name Video Only, which I can confirm with OK, so it is accepted. And so now, all that is needed is that it is all transferred to the hard disk. To do this, we need to first check the input settings, from which player is it coming? For the minute, I only have one, and so HDV camera is correct. To start the transfer, I simply click Capture, and EDIUS takes care of spooling to the correct positions and records them. I get a message stating that my tape polar must be loaded, which it is. EDIUS has gone to the first region, and we can see here under status the recording progress. I'll let all of this happen whilst we take a break and come back when it has been transferred. After the batch capture is finished, the tick in the first column has gone, which tells us that they have been recorded. Status also shows 100% has been transferred. Now I can leave the window and I can find my clips in the bin. And we can also see that my clips have been assigned the names that were specified in the batch capture list.